all about set to go away and racing in the lucky last and Mark McGilbray leads them Gareth Keith is there they're coming from here there and everywhere up the back straight into the western corner Anthony Bear is up to third place he's uh, now uh, making a move on the outside their half track high and above and in the lead at the moment is Luke Holliman second place is uh, Anthony Bear Nigel O'Neill is there as well and Mark McGilvray but it's Holliman out in front Holliman your race leader Anthony Bear looking for an inside move it's Luke Holliman half track high Bear down low on the track as they come past us for the second time Anthony Bear takes the lead Holliman second now wait for a move from uh, Mark Jennings Jennings is there and Holliman fights back Holliman, Holliman fights back and takes back the lead so Holliman back in front in car 12 he doesn't care who it is on the inside or what his reputation is Luke Holliman throwing everything by the kitchen sick Anthony Bear back in front so it's Bear, Holliman and Mark Jennings the 1995 champion they're the first three back then to Nigel O'Neill and Mark McIlbray there is in fifth place it's Anthony Bear by car length here comes Holliman again on the outside, if you don't mind. It's Anthony Bear, Holliman, and right there is Mark Jennings. Oh, grandstand finish coming up, a big call, I know. Ah. We're still eight laps to go, oh, but down. here comes Jennings. On the outside is Luke Holliman into the western corner, and now it's Anthony Bear, and with him is Mark Jennings, the man who owns all the Hawaiian shirts as they come into ah. turn number three and four. It's Mark Jennings who has the quick lap of the race. He's out after Anthony Bear. Back then in third place is Luke Holliman. Then it's Nigel O'Neill and David Barbler up in fifth place. We'll come up to the halfway mark in heat number 24, the final heat. Six down and six to go. It's Anthony Bear by Carlick over Mark Jennings. In third place, it's Luke Holliman. Back in fourth place, Nigel O'Neill, then David Barbler and Mark McGilvray. But this one's going to go to the wire. Mark my words. We've got uh, five to go this time around. Down the main straight they come to the control tower. It's Anthony Bear by car length over Mark Jennings. The two veteran drivers that hold four national street top titles between them are going to go right to the wire. Here comes Jennings. He moves up on the outside now of Anthony Bear. Who would think this was possible? <laughs> and Mark Jennings hits the front. Jennings takes the lead. Back in second place is Anthony Bear. And Jennings drives away. Down the back straight back to Luke Holliman. Fourth place is that of Nigel O'Neill. The rest of them are in another postcode as they come down the main straight once again. Two or uh, three laps to go. And Mark Jennings leads by a couple of car lengths. What has Anthony Bear got for him? Oh, there's a car in front of them, which is Roger Langley. Where will they have to pass him as they make their way into the western corner? It's Jennings in front. Anthony Bear still close enough. They go underneath of Langley here in the main straight. And Anthony Bear is close enough. Yeah. Back to a car length away. He is Ten racing. down and two to go. Have a look at him. He is really racing. He stepped up the racetrack, Jason. Yep. And he is coming. Yes, he is certainly coming. They'll come down the main straight and greet the white flag. One lap, King Arroy in the final qualifier. It's Mark Jennings by Carlick. Anthony Bear desperately wants to win this one. He's got to start on the front row. Mark Jennings is there though. Jennings leads him into the western corner the last time. He throws it in pretty heavily. And Mark Jennings is going to prevail. Mark Jennings wins the final qualifying heat. Jennings from Anthony Bear in a great old race. 4.428 the margin. Back in third is O'Neill. Fourth place goes the way of Holliman. Back in fifth place after that will be David Barbler. I think they're a long, long way behind. It is Barbler. Sixth place is Mark McGilvray, then Gareth Keith, Josie Thompson, and Roger Langley. Well, Jennings well, the well. winner in 351.390. And I reckon that could be nearly the quickest 12 laps of the entire weekend. I'll check that out. 351 is very quick. 0.428 is the margin and 18.106 by Anthony Bear was the quick lap but it's Mark Jennings the winner how about that yeah come on King Roy give it up for Mark Jennings that's better awake hey, Mark that was uh, very impressive oh, thank you mate like Barry's a hard man to beat and he found the bottom line pretty early before we got there and it was a bit jibbery around I thought well if we're going to try something we'll see what this top works like and Seem to be pretty good up there, but I don't know if I'd like to do that for 40 laps. <laughs> yeah, this place gets pretty wild and it's like that, but uh, great effort and big performance. Probably a few people you need to thank. 
Yeah, I'd like to thank Reg and Cat, the Patriot Motorsport team. Keith Hussey from Speedline Engines, he's given us a pretty good engine this weekend, so let's see if we can back it up from here and somewhere finish in the top 10 of the A main, be pretty awesome. Absolutely, yeah, I saw Keith Hussey cruising around out there, good to have you in the house.